What's up guys, Mike here from Ecom Knives and today I got another friction folder to show you. This is uh, my agitator number five, uh, first one in titanium, uh, a couple of firsts on this one and uh, also a little later in the video I, I want to discuss briefly uh, some advice on taking advice when it comes to knife making. But we'll start off with the knife. So as I said this is friction folder agitator number five this one is full titanium handles that were bee blasted and I maxed out my anodizer uh, to give it kind of this battleship gray look. I think it came out pretty cool, kind of old, old timey looking. Uh, this one also has zirconium, which uh, zirconium, very unique uh, material. Uh, it's uh, quite difficult to work with. It kind of just laughs at sandpaper. Wipe that off there. Yeah, stuff kind of laughs at sandpaper, so you end up fighting with it. Uh, but once you do, it comes out with that uh, nice black oxide uh, coating on it. Very, very cool looking stuff. And uh, in order to get that, you got to get this cherry, cherry red hot. I'll pop in a picture right here or something so you can see it. The blade is CPM 154, uh, acid stone wash, and for this one, I wanted that old timey, almost marbly look. You see that? So I left it in the stone washer a little longer and just let it get beat up. And uh, I think it came out pretty cool. Now, I actually made a mistake on this one, and uh, this one's been sitting in my to do pile for a while. and. After I made the mistake, I just kind of put it aside and, and walked away from it for a little bit. And sometimes that's what you need to do. Uh, so, once I uh, took it back out and I figured, you know what, I'm going to figure this out and I'll get it going. So, the mistake was, when I milled out the track in the blade for the stop pin, so it was stop open and stop closed, I went just a tiny, tiny bit too far. So, the blade instead of stopping straight like that, would stop up here on an angle. You know, maybe not that far, but too far. So, I said, you know what, I want to try and do a press fit stop pin anyway, uh, which is a lot more work, to be honest with you, but it worked out great. As you can see, it's that right there is press fitted in. So, this side is a slip fit and this side is a press fit so you can still take the knife apart it's not a permanent bond on both sides it's only a permanent bond on the one side and it didn't fight with me at all which was great it, it went it went in nice and straight everything worked out very well but it was nerve-wracking because I had to save it to the very very end of the build so if it was going to not work I was gonna find out when it was way too late uh, another first on this one was I ended up fitting the backspacer. The backspacer is also zirconium. And I ended up fitting it like this at first. I'll pop in a picture right here too. Uh, just a plain old boring flush fit backspacer. Looks pretty cool, but I wanted to do something different. So for this one, I went in and since I just released my How to Hollow Ground and Knife videos, uh, I figured I'd make it a theme for this knife and I went in and hollow ground the backspacer. You can see that there. First it, I milled it right there so it's got a little milled pocket in it. There you go. It's kind of hard to see because it is that same black zirconium. If you look at it from the inside you can see it's got the two tips and this was all done freehand. This itty bitty little thing, I'll pop in another picture so you can see this itty bitty little backspacer was ground freehand hollow ground on a two inch wheel. <laughs> Nerve wracking to say the least. It took me longer to grind the backspacer than it did to grind the, grind the blade. Uh, the pivot also has a kind of like a turbine look to it. Uh, new technique I figured out of using tools the wrong way and it came out with a cool result it's kind of hard to see but inside that divot is kind of like a star pattern from an end mill 
I don't know why this thing is not focusing. All right, hopefully this was in focus. <laughs> now it's focusing. I gotta play with the settings on this. This is still a new camera. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. It's a very slim line too, kind of like a cold steel, uh, like a Code 4 type knife. So it doesn't take up too much pocket real estate. And I thought it was cool with that backspacer, how it kind of looks like there's two blades in there when you look at it in the right light. So, cool stuff. Uh, this one's going out tomorrow. I just got to sharpen it up. This is Mike from Ecom Knives, and I'll catch you on the next one.